There were obviously so many intense physical scenes. What kind of training did you have to do for this? I actually didn't do much training at all because uh, she, she's a mom packing up a house. We didn't want her to have any sort of special training or her turn out to be, it turns out she's a Navy SEAL or special ops or a jujitsu champion. Um, so when she's throwing punches, it's just primal. It's just what she's doing to save her kids. I didn't want everything to look perfect. Um, I just wanted it to look like a mom using everything at her disposal, whether that's her wit, her, her you know, her, her survival instinct, her knowledge of, of the premises to sort of outwit um, the bad guys. Uh, so I just did Pilates and drank rosé and that was it. The stunt stuff, it was so exciting for me because I love doing like athletic, like fun action stuff. So it was really exciting and adventurous and I learned a lot of new stuff on the set. But when you're actually there and you see how things are done and sometimes it makes it, it waters it down. Like you see stuff and on camera it's like, oh my God. But really you're there just like doing something really small. Why are there any moments that completely cracked you up on set. Yeah, because I'm such a goofy person and me and Gab were like big sisters and, and sisters and we laugh about everything. And me, I, I don't know, I'm just a goofy person. Like I laugh all the time. Like anybody who knows me, they're like, that's Asiana laughing. Like you can hear my laugh from a mile away. So it's just the smallest things. Oh, it was one scene, me and Gab, we had to be serious. And I was like, I, I can't, I just can't do this with you today. <laughs> they probably got so irritated with us. We were like, okay. <laughs> and so, yeah. It was such dark material. Like, we were literally showing up to work every day to beat each other up. Um, so we, you know, kept the music going. You know, we were cracking up. We were dancing, telling jokes. Um, Asiana, like, we're all obsessed with her. So we were, like, living vicariously through her, her antics and uh, as a young woman in Hollywood. So she would just tell us all her amazing tales. And we're like, uh, and then what? You know, and then, of course, we were all trying to play Cupid for her and hook her up with, like, literally, you know, everyone. Um, she's like, you guys, I have standards. Um, never mind, keep going. Were there any scenes that you guys shot that didn't make it to the final cut, which you might be hoping make it to the DVD? I think there were some stunts that we were like, maybe it's a little over the top. Maybe we're pushing it a little too much. She basically is like bouncing down the side of a hill off a car and then like springing up. Like, so maybe, maybe we'll put together, you know, like a, a bunch of sort of deleted action sequences. And you're like, yeah, that wasn't, that really wouldn't have, you know, flown, you know, because half the time, like, my stunt double would, you know, do something, and then, like, I would spring up off the floor and be like, I'm okay, guys, I'm okay, I'm okay, you know, and they're like, not really realistic. Me laughing, <laughs> I think, <laughs> just the behind the scenes of me being goofy and just like, I think that's the funniest part of a film when you see the other sides of it, like, oh my God, it's like that happened like that, oh, that happened like that. You know, it's the humor side of it because it's so intense and it's so like, have you on the edge of the seat. It's like cool to see those moments where it's like, we have fun, it was it's, like, it's not too bad. What was it like filming the scene where you and your brother are tied up and you have them gags on and you literally are supposed to think you're gonna die. Oh yeah, we had to do that scene. I get a headache thinking about it because I did that scene so many times and I had to cry back to back to back to back to back and I'm sitting there and it like literally when I like get stressed or something or it's like antsy, my vein in my forehead pops out so I'm having to like relax like, all right, let's do this again. It's like, all right, cut. It's like, oh, again, cut. oh, again. And so it gave, me, it gave me a headache, honestly. It was like, ooh. But it looked really good. I was really in the moment, and I take my work so serious, so each take I put everything I have into it, and so that, that's really draining, emotional drain, emotionally draining and everything else. But I mean, it's for the good. The film looks great. You remember that part, so I'm glad you, you know. You obviously have such an extensive back catalog of movies and like very varied movies as well. If you were gonna make a sequel for any of them, which one would it be? Well, we kind of are making a sequel to Bad Boys. So we're doing the spinoff of, uh, we're taking my character from Bad Boys 2, and we did a spinoff for um, for NBC, a pilot with me and Jessica Alva, where we're uh, both LAPD detectives. But there's some mysterious circumstances surrounding her time in LA that you kind of get into sort of the back the, the backstory and what happened from the time her and Will are, you know, kissing in in uh, in Cuba to now, you know. I was like, did they go to couples counseling? You know, like what, did she sign a prenup, did he? Like, I need to know, I, I, I have questions, I've got follow-up questions.